Jeremy, you've got a very impressive automation system here, the Eco Tower from Lang and from yeah. Tame Work Holding. What, why the introduction of this? Well, when Produmax built this factory, we designed a piece of land and did a virtual reality model of the factory and having signed 10 year deal with all of our customers, it then gave us the opportunity to bring work into the UK and that had to be by automating. We had to be better than the Eastern competition. We looked at many systems around the process um, for pallet loading, how we were going to set it up. Um, after a visit to the factory in Stuttgart, we devised that the Lang system into the DMG Evo automation was the, the best product for Produmax. So what is automation to you? What are you looking to gain out of, out of this kind of process? The, the big aim for Produmax is to gain the additional hours that are currently unmanned in the system. We run a two shift system, so we're manning for about 75 hours a week on the shifted system, and then we have the dead time, which was the area we needed to take the opportunity of. So you want to keep this machine, this DMU 50 Evo, running as much as you can? Uh, 167 and a half hours a week is the target. Uh, we're currently hitting targets of 60 hours per week on man shift, so we run through Saturday night, all day Sunday, and Sunday night. Tame Work Holding are, are selling a lot of these automation systems. Automation is a, is a big thing these days in companies such as yourselves. Often what we find though is people buy the Eco Tower because they've got Lang uh, vices and then they want to introduce the tower as a result of having the vices. But for you it's the other way around, isn't it? It was the other way around. We bought the Eco Tower, used the Lang vice and realised how good it was and have now put that through all of our other processes, manned and unmanned. So the cost of this system for you, is, have you got any payback time in, in your mind? Our payback on this particular process was a 10 month payback. 10 months, okay, that's, that's, that is a short payback time. What about things like the installation? That's gonna be important. Think, people are gonna be thinking, how easy is it, firstly, to get this, this kit here and on the floor, but secondly, to get it interfaced with a machine such as the DMG Mori? from our experience from stopping the machine and handing it over to Lang to running the first production batch took three weeks. But that's running the first production batch so to actually get this actually in and connected to the machine the communication element I'm sure is probably a lot quicker. Yeah well, within 10 days we had a system that was doing a, a dry run of loading and up uh, into the machine starting the cycle and run and putting it back on the pallet because you have to cut away the door, so and then it's an M-code function, isn't it, to, to, drive, uh, to yeah. drive the automation? Yeah, it's cut the door away, get all the uh, machine M-codes sorted out, uh, deal with the machine builder to make sure that everything interfaces, particularly for us with Rennie Shaw, who are our specified probing experts, so we had to get the whole system to link together between the three companies. And what's normally the sign of a successful purchase is when you buy number two. Has that happened yet? We have, yes. As of last week, we've bought the another identical 60 tower, which is going into the other DMG linear evolutions. David, I want to find out a little bit more about what this system actually does. Loading the machine, correct? But how, how does it work? Um, basically, it's a gravity-fed tower that you can load up with at least six devices. It works on pneumatics on a coil spring, which controls the vice as it slides down the tower. And and what's the communication between the machine and, and this? It works from an M code, a simple M code. It's a very basic system. We program as normal, but we introduce the M code into our program. And every time it calls the M code, it changes the vice, uh, changes the job, puts it away, puts it back into the tower and waits to be reloaded. One, one thing that I'm looking at here is like the health and safety element. We've got this kind of robotic yes. arm here. Yes. It, it, What's going to happen if I get close to that? Is it um, going to pick me up and put me in the machine? No, it just stops. It just stops. It's not very powerful. It's something we, we, we looked at when we first got it, but you can stand next to it. If it touches you, it automatically stops. So there's no danger whatsoever. When it comes to restrictions on this, are you, are you restricted by the size of part you can, you yes. can automate? Yes, you are, yeah. We usually do the sort of intermediate parts, 300 millimetres long, um, because of the width of the actual um, the tower. But we can, you can get good big parts on, you can, all different materials. But, the, but there's kind of a range of sizes that, for you here at Produmax, you can actually get on this, uh, on this tower? Yes, there is, yeah. Yeah, we can get different families of parts on, ranging from very small parts to quite large parts. 
Let's, let's look at the Langweiss here because uh, already talking to Jeremy, it's interesting that you, you bought the towers first and then you were led down the path of the vices, which you've had a lot of success with. Yeah. When you looked at the vices, what sort of things do, do you like about them? The first thing that struck me about it was the stamping. Uh, we now stamp, stamp all the billets, which allows us to put them in the Lang vices. From a positioning point of view, you can, you can stamp it up to a stop so the position is perfect, but also as the vice enters the, the stamping, you don't have to grip the billet as tightly. So you, with the waveform strategies that we use on uh, roughing out and everything, um, it doesn't need to be held as tightly. So for us, we're a, it's a winner. It doesn't put any stress into the billets. So when we come to the, uh, the next ops, the uh, finishing ops, there's no stress in the billets, so we get less distortion. What about the repeatability of putting uh, the vice back into the machine or changing vice, vice to vice? Oh, it works out. It's within microns, absolutely, cock on. But what it also allows us to do is remove the, the part in the vice and actually get it checked on the CMM. So we don't have to remove the part from the vice, but if we had to reload the part in the vice, the repeatability is excellent. You've got a lot of uh, Lang vices here now, haven't you? Which, yeah. which, you've had, which you've got over the last six months. They're being rolled out around the whole machine That's shop. Right, yeah. Yes, um, we're looking to roll Lang vices out right across the whole factory because of the benefits of the stamping and gripping it lightly. And it's gonna change the way we work. But the other thing is the modular system all the vices fit on all the machines, so you can use all different types of vices. There's all different permutations you can use. So it's a, it's a winner, it, it solves a big problem for us. And Tame, you were saying about the Tame Work Holdings, yeah. uh, the portfolio of products within the Lang system yeah. from Tame Work Holdings. That surprised you, didn't it? You had a look through at what you can Absolutely. actually achieve with these. Tell yeah, us a little bit more about that. Absolutely, there's, there's something for everything. Um, up to a certain size, there's a, um, vices chucks fixture plates the, the thought of everything to be honest even down to um, matrix parallels and it's been a real uh, bonus for us it makes you think how on earth you uh, got by without them that's right yeah back in the old days <laughs> but um it, the thing for us also all the apprentices we have now see the new ideas and they're taking it on board and everybody's working in the same way it looks good it looks a really good uh, really yeah. good setup thanks david you're welcome, thank you.